Hi there, this is a question from the 2017 exam two. This is from the geometry and measurement uh, module, and this is question two. In this question, I will be going through question 2A, 2B, and 2C, and 2D. So just to start with, this question was not done very well. So we'll quickly try to get through this as fast as we can. So Mickey will be traveling from Melbourne, where the coordinates are there, traveling to Tokyo, 20th of December. The flight will leave Melbourne at 11.20 a.m. and it will take 10 hours and 14 minutes to reach Tokyo. The time difference between Melbourne and Tokyo is two hours at that time of the year. On what day and what time will Mickey arrive in Tokyo? So with this, the easiest way to work with these questions is to, I believe, convert your time of where you're going to first. So for example, if it is we taken off at 11.20 in Melbourne AM, 11.20 AM in Melbourne. So let's just put Melbourne here. Right then and there, we want to know what the time is in Tokyo. So it says here is a two hour time difference in Tokyo. So when we jump on the plane and we look at our watch on the plane, it's 11.20 in Melbourne, it would be 9.20 AM in Tokyo. So we could right there and then change our time on our watch sitting on the plane to Tokyo time. Now it's easier to work in terms of this, the time it takes for the flight. So in this case, nine, it's gonna take 10 hours and 40 minutes, a 10 hour and 40 min total to fly. So what we're gonna do is let's convert the, the four, add the 40 minutes first, so 40 min, that would take us to 10 a.m. Then we've got 10 hours left of flying. So I like to break it down. So here we go, we've got two hours to get to 12 p.m. Sorry about the writing, my pen is not working properly today. So two hours to get to 12. So that means we've got eight hours left. So another eight hours here would take us to 8 p.m. in Tokyo arriving. So with this, do your conversion first and your time difference conversion and then do your breakdown of your hours of flight. So, but the question is on what day and what time? So we know our time is 8 p.m. The next part is on what day? So we started in the a.m. and we've gone to the p.m. So we haven't actually changed days. So it is on Wednesday, the 20th of December. So 8 p.m. Wednesday, the 20th of December. Looking at the assessor's comments for this, only 40 people managed to get that question, 40% get that question correct. Um, some students added two hours rather than subtracting. So knowing that, um, like I said, when we're sitting in Melbourne, it hasn't had 11, it hasn't been 11.20 yet in Tokyo because we are ahead of them. So it goes down to 9.20. Knowing that conversion is the most difficult thing. All right, moving onwards. Mickey will then travel by train from Tokyo to Remo and she will stay in a hostel when she arrives. The hostel is located 186 metres north and 50 metres west of the railway station. What distance will Mickey have to walk if she were to walk on a straight line from the railway station to the hostel? Round your answer to the nearest metre. So this is a straightforward, uh, straightforward trigonometry question. So let's just draw in our diagram first. There we go. We've got our diagram, our right angle, and we have Naremo station, and we have our hostel up here. So we've gone 50 meters um, west, so never eat soggy wheat and then 186 meters north. Let's just change our color back to the blue. So if we were to solve for this, the x, we have, we have two pieces of information, two sides, and we're trying to find the other side. So we can use our Pythagoras theorem. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So in simple, we can put in our information of 186 squared plus 50 squared, which would equal 192 0.6 meters and the question is asking for the nearest meter so 
metres. Looking at the assessor's comments for this, so part B, 61% managed to get that correct. However, that should have been a lot higher being at how it was just a basic uh, Pythagoras theorem question. So here it says the question was not answered well at all. Moving on to part I. I. So what is the three figure bearing of the hostel from, it's a key word here, from Narimo railway station? So we want to know that, let's just draw our uh, triangle again. Okay, we've got our hostel here. Our right angle here, and we have our Narimo. So we are asking for the bearing from the railway station. So if we were going from the railway station to the hostel, what is the bearing? So what we're going to do is just draw in our compass bearing, okay? And what we need to do is work out what is the bearing from here. So we're going to go all the way around to here. So as a clock hand, all the way from 12 and all the way around. So what we need to do is actually work out what this angle in there is. And we can do that by using our SOCAR DOA. So let's put in the information from the previous question. 186 on this side. We've got 50 down here. And we do have 193 here. But I'm going to use the two values that they've given us. So opposite the angle, adjacent, we can work out our angle inside there. So opposite and adjacent would be tan. So we could use tan angle is opposite over adjacent. Now putting all our information in, rearranging the formula, keeping it very simple, tan negative one over, over of 186 degrees over 50 would be our calculation that we could place in our calculator. And this would give us 74.95 degrees. So this angle in here is 74.95. Now the question, once again, is asking us how, what, what is the bearing from here? So we need to start at 12 and go all the way around. Knowing that north, south, east, west, to get to west is 270 degrees. So we can take our answer that we already just calculated and we can add 270 degrees, which would give us an answer of 344.95 degrees true, which they're asking for to the nearest meter would be approximately 345 degrees degrees true. Looking at the assessor's comments for this one, 345 degrees true, only 27% of the cohort managed to get that one correct. Knowing about the keyword of from is what you need to do. In my class, we've spoken about the word from many, many times. So knowing that we are calculating this angle and not this angle of depression up near here. Moving on to the last question. So the city of Nere, oh, the part C and D. So the city of Nere, Nemuro is located 43 degrees north and 145 degrees east. Assuming that the radius of Earth is 6,400 kilometers, the small circle of Earth at the latitude of 43 degrees north is shown in the diagram. What is the radius of this small circle of the Earth at 43 degrees north? So what we need to do is work out what this line up here, what that radius is. And we know that on this diagram, the angles of elevation, so if it's 43 degrees north, angle of elevation going up is 43, then the angle of elevation, uh, of angle of depression down is also 43. So if I draw this shape here, this triangle, we know that the from the center of Earth out to the edge is 6,400 meters, uh, kilometers. And angle of elevation and depression, this angle in here is 43 from the angle of elevation to angle of depression. We can then calculate the unknown side, which is the top of this triangle, which is this length up there. Not labeling these opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent. 
we can find this x here using the co cosine rule. So cos 43 is going to equal x over 6400, so adjacent over hypotenuse. This would mean that x would equal, if we plug that into our calculator using the solve function, or we calculate it by hand, would be 4680.66369, where the answer is asked to the nearest kilometer, which is equal to 4681 kilometers. Checking the answer for this one. Uh, part 2C, 43% of the cohort managed to get this one correct, which is still really, really low for quite a simple um, question because we weren't really even working with changing directions on latitude and longitude. Going into part D, find the shortest great circle between distance between Melbourne and Nauru, Nauru can't pronounce that name, um, given those two coordinates, ground your answer to the nearest kilometre. So we have here um, Melbourne, which is 38 degrees south, 145 degrees east, and 43 degrees north and 145 degrees east. So there's been a change um, in the north and south here. So if we were to draw this picture out, okay, and use this line that we've just used there as the equator, we have a point where we are uh, 43 degrees north, and then we have a point which is um, 38 degrees south. So that combined angle in there is 81 degrees. Because we are, if we use this, we're 43 degrees north, we are down here 38 degrees south. So that's where the point of Melbourne is. And what it's asking for, what is the distance around this greater circle? So like a slice of pizza, we're looking for the arc length where we know the key word in here is greater circle so we can use our radius of 6400 meters and calculating this arc length using the formula pi times radius which is 6400 times by our degrees which is 81 over 180 which gives us a solution of 9047.79, which it's to the nearest kilometer. So we can have this as our answer of 9,048 kilometers. Now, I apologize about my pen not working very well. Um, hopefully we can still follow along how this, what the solution is and how we get there. Looking at the answer, we've got 9,048 kilometers. The answer here, 9,048, only 38% of the cohort managed to get that one correct. Now, no assessor's comments with that one, but I think a lot of people would have given up on this question. Being a very simple question, but the, you have to understand the maths behind it, which I think a lot of students didn't, didn't do that very well. So in this question, we had one that's been answered 38% correct, 43% correct, 27% correct, 61% correct. And that last one, um, I think, was um, for, uh, was forty percent correct. So not answered very well. Hopefully, this will give you some understanding of how to answer it. Also, I have quite a number of other videos on spherical geometry on my YouTube channel. So have a look at those ones and follow along. Thank you.